Hey y'all, it's Mask Monday again. This may look like a bunch of masks piled on top of a bunch of junk, and it kind of is, but we're gonna turn it into some cool looking masks. All right, so uh, as I said, I'm gonna use all this crap to basically um, make the aperture. All right, so there's a lot of ways that you can display your masks. Uh, I'm gonna tell you ways that I think you should stay away from and things that I think that you should do. Um, nothing I have on this table is expensive at all. It's all just crap from home, um, except for the styro heads, which I'm pretty much gonna suggest you don't use anyways. So let's actually just start with the styrofoam heads and I'll talk about why I don't think you should use them. Okay, so I've got two styrofoam heads here. One's just your typical white styrofoam. This one's been coated with this like black velvet on it. Um, styrofoam heads are like typically the go-to choice for displaying masks for a lot of people. It just like makes the most sense. It's the first thing people think of to do, um, as so did I. And so I went out and I got these styrofoam heads a long time ago, but I don't use them anymore and I'll explain why. The reason why I got the black one though is because if I put a mask on here and you look through the eye holes, it, it'll just be blacked out. It's not gonna have this white on the inside. Um, so that's why I went towards this one. Um, and I had a mask displayed on this uh, head for a long time and it totally dried out within a year. So, and again, that's kind of what I mean by don't use styrofoam heads. Um, people debate it if it dries your latex out or not. I'm done debating. It definitely dries your latex out. I promise you, I've seen it. Um, the way that masks are made, they take liquid rubber and they pour it into a mold. The mold is dry and porous and it sucks the moisture out of that latex. When you put the mask on a styrofoam head, the styrofoam is gonna continue to suck that moisture out and it's going to get dry rot way faster. Um, latex is unpredictable and you know, whatever, but trust me, I've had a bunch of masks and the ones that I put on styrofoam heads all dried out really, really fast. I have other ones that are way older that have never dried out. So in addition to it just being bad because it deteriorates your latex over time, um, they're just really light and wobbly. They don't stand up very well. Masks are kind of heavy. Um, my go-to, like for a half mask, like I can understand you'd want to do the styro head, but it doesn't even stand up. Again, it's the fastest way to maybe put it on there. Like the half masks can be pretty hard to display and pretty annoying, but it's like, this is pretty annoying. Like, I, no, don't do that. Don't do styro heads. Let me show you what you should do. All right, paper towels. Um, I use paper towels to display my masks. I always have. Um, they work really well. They hold it up. There's no reason. People would be like, oh, you wasted all those paper towels. And I'm like, that's not why I bought them. I'm not wasting them because I bought them to display my masks. Um, but even aside from that, if you don't want to use paper towels, you can just use these paper towel holders. Uh, usually, sometimes I'll do a combination of the two. Um, but I'm just going to show you the different techniques for using the paper towels and displaying them that way. So this is, you can just use this if you want, but like that's kind of a waste. Luckily I paint, so I'll usually like, um, just like take down half of it and I'll keep half to paint and I'll just use this half to display. Um, but say you didn't want to use the paper towel holders, like if you have just a little bit wider, this will hold it enough. First of all, we have to just talk about stuffing the mask. So like I'm just pulling this out of the bag um, and you can see like, it's just got little like divots in it right there, you know, like just from shipping and stuff like that. Um, there's just little areas where it's not perfectly plump. What I use to stuff the masks is typically just shopping bags. Um, I like the darker ones um, for the same reason to go behind the eyes. Um, but these are just like plastic bags, uh, any plastic bags. Also, if you can get this like brown paper that's used for like shipping and covering tables and stuff like that, this one will take up a lot more mass. Um, but I typically like to, around the spots where it's gonna to be touching the mask, to use paper, I'm um, sorry, to use the shopping bags. So I'm just gonna like stuff it until now that divot is more or less gone, but it's still a little bit there. So I'll just put more and more stuffing in it. And now that I've done that top layer, I can move on to some brown paper if I want to. And just really get that top bit nice and stuffed. If you want, all you really need is you, if you don't want to use the paper towels, you can just use a paper towel holder. These are a dollar at Dollar Tree. Um, and I'm literally just putting it on there and that's a, a dollar mask stand basically. And again, that divot's still there. So if I just 
keep trying to stuff it. Should get rid of it. So I'll still stuff it, but then I can use this. But just push that in and you use that to like back pressure. And then you can stick it on there. So that's looking pretty good. Um, to really, if like, to really get it to get rid of everything is now I'd want to hit it once I stuff it with like a hair dryer and just like heat it up and then make sure I'm like just forming it and then it'll stay that way. But that's pretty good for now. Um, but again, if you look in here, you see the eyes, you can kind of see the paper towel and all that because that's why I picked one that doesn't have eyes so you can really kind of see that. So what I'm going to do to fix that problem is just paint it. I'm just going to use some really cheap paint like from Walmart. I'm just going to paint like a square of black on here. And like, I suppose you can do this with like a Sharpie. Um, I don't think it would come out the same though and it'd probably take a lot longer. Um, oh yeah, and I was gonna say, you could use spray paint, but that shit smells really bad. And I don't want that in my house. All right, let's see where I'm at. So, I don't see any white in the paper towel now. Um, you can see my stuffing and stuff hanging out. That's fine. I'm just gonna reach in here. And just push that in. Paint's still very wet, so it's all over me now. Um, but, there we go. Now you can't really see anything in there. Um, it just looks black, just looks like the mask. That's pretty much it. Um, and like I said, some people, like they don't like this um, paper towel at the bottom. Like, it, it's never really bothered me too much, but if I wanted to, I would just paint the entire thing black. And then it would just be like a black, you know, cylinder under there. Or, like, you could cut it in half and have it be shorter. You could use toilet paper. Um, that's something that I've done too, just a whole roll of toilet paper inside the head with the stuffing around it. Um, that will also work. But then my issue with that is then I don't like the bottom of the mask to like be sitting right on the table. It can get kind of scrunched up. So I like it kind of elevated a little bit. Um, so let's move on to the next way that you can do it. And it's also super duper cheap, super easy. All right, so um, I just brought out, this is just a water bottle filled with water. Um, this mask is pretty small. So if I were to put it on top of like a paper towel roll, it would sit up pretty high. Um, and you know, again, it's not that big of a deal, but if you wanted it to sit a little bit lower, you can use a water bottle or something like this. And again, I'm gonna just like stuff it and then just set it on there. But do it like that, it works. Like that'll work, but eventually um, the latex is gonna basically turn into a triangle at the top because it's just like gonna be forming around that one point. You know, everything else it's just right there. So um, I'm gonna stuff it and then I'll throw it on here. Um, and again, this is something that I would do if in this case, you know, it has eyes, you're not gonna be able to see into the mask like you could with the skull. So now I'll put it on here to kind of look at it. And so now it's sitting up like a little too high. Like you can see that blue bottle. You can see this like price tag right there. So I'm just going to take the brown paper out. But I'm again, I'm going to leave the shopping bags in there. So it's not making direct contact with the bottle and misshaping the latex. And that'll sit right there. You really can't see that bottle much. Um, you can even tilt it. And again, you could take a little bit more stuffing out if you want but it's a perfectly fine way to display your mask and it costs basically no dollars. It's water that I already drink, so just fill it up with tap water, use it as a mask stand. All right, so um, I picked out a half mask um, and I also wanted it to be one that had like a good bib, you know? This is something that might seem like it'd be hard to display. Um, you got this, and again, if you tried to do this on a, with a styrofoam head, you'd have like all this bib that would just be sitting like that, and again, it wouldn't want to stand up and everything, so I'm just going to use the paper towels again. Um, it looks like there's like some decent sized eye cuts in here, so we may or may not want to paint black on this as well, but first let's just throw it on here. So I'm going to put it on, you see it has this strap, most of them will. I'm gonna wanna put some stuffing right here to fill this out. I'm also gonna put some, what I can do to make it a little taller is put some stuffing here on the top and kinda just put it there and put it there and then it will be able to sit like that. Man, it doesn't look very pretty on this side but it doesn't matter. 
Now I can take this, do what it was meant to, make, turn it into a hood. That's gonna cover up that crap anyways. And if I wanted to like really hood it out, I can just keep stuffing and stuff it so that it's to that shape. But I'm typically just gonna be viewing it from this way. Whenever I'm doing the half mask, I don't even really worry about the strap. It's really just about doing some stuffing under the top and then laying it in such a way that it just isn't gonna fall over or anything. Now it's gonna sit up off the you know table just a little bit more and it's also gonna be super duper steady. It's not gonna fall over. Um, and most importantly, it's not gonna dry out my latex. You can also make like, like your own mask stands just out of like wood with like wood glue and a nail gun and like you can paint them however you want and do all that and that's also pretty cheap but you might need a nail gun, need some wood glue, you gotta go get wood, you gotta find a way to cut wood. Um, this is all stuff that I showed you today that you can just get with everyday household items. Really cheap, really easy, really quick way to display your masks. All right, so that's Mask Monday. Hopefully you learned something. Let us know what you think the best way to display your masks are. My favorite way is the half a roll of paper towels on the paper towel holder, but you can use just the paper towels, just the paper towel holder. And then like I said, for smaller masks like this one, I like just a water bottle filled with water. Always stuff them. That's one of the most important things that people overlook. Stuff the mask, make sure you like the form of the, or the shape of the head, and then put it on whatever you want to put it on but don't put it on one of these stupid things. Stop it right now. Whatever you decide to put your masks on, you should buy them at nightmaretoys.com. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.